settlement of a sexual assault lawsuit. Five News reporter Micah Wilson was at that meeting and joins us live. Micah. Well, Erica, tonight the board did agree to that $1 settlement and all the community wanted is for the board as well as the district to admit their fault. I am so proud of them. They did what we elected them to do. Cheers and tears Monday night. I started crying because I was here at the very first board meeting holding the protest sign. Title IX failed here. Monday, the Huntsville Board of Education admitted liability in a Title IX case going on since February of last year. I make a motion to accept the settlement. A long time coming for parent Danon Strege. When my daughter was at the news report with Micah right here, and on the news said she didn't even want her future children to go to the school. Now breathing a sigh of relief, the settlement request filed last October was for $1 and required the board to admit liability. So what it means maybe is we're guilty. The settlement also requires Title IX training for certified personnel because the parent of a victim says a school employee knew about the sexual abuse and did nothing. He said, I will handle it. Don't worry about it. We will get this handled. Nothing happened. Now, with new board members since the last election, parents asking them to right their wrongs. The ball is in your court now. So we got a unanimous decision to accept the, the settlement offer. And Title IX training will begin August 8th for them. Now, the school district attorney did tell me that they were already planning on requiring Title IX training for all personnel even before this lawsuit. For now, we're live here in Huntsville covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News.